put your hands on the wheel Head into the distance, the distance Between the daylight and the dark
song that um, changed my life. I wrote this song and I got a record deal, I got a publishing deal. Bob Dylan played it on his radio show. Blake Shelton is 
country singer recorded it, and uh, suddenly Mary Gaucher is a great artist. <laughs> I had the song for seven years before anything happened, but once they found it, boom! <laughs> I'm glad they found it. It's called I Drink.
the second set with a story song for you. This is a story about a man who was given the name Maury Graham when he was born and he decided what he really wanted to be called was Steam Train. He rode a train when he was 14 years old and it changed his life. He, he became a hobo and he took the name Steam Train Maury Graham. started after the Civil War in America. After the Civil War ended, there were many, 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 many people wandering the streets. Soldiers had to walk back towards their home. Soldiers from the South, they had lost the war and the South was broke. Soldiers were broken and they wandered. Some people say the word hobo comes from homeward bound. A shortened version of homeward bound is hobo. Steam train Maury Graham got so famous that when he died, the New York Times gave him a headlined obituary. And that's where I found him. I found him by reading his obituary. And when I read the obituary, because the headline grabbed my attention, I found out that when a hobo dies, they don't say he died, they say he caught the westbound. Steam Train's obituary said, Steam Train Maury Graham. King of the hobos, dead at age 89. Now, I knew about hobos, but I didn't know they had a king. So I had to do a little research to find out that hobos gather every August in a town called Britt, Iowa. And they elect themselves a king. And Steam Train was elected king more times than any other man. Seven times king of the hobo. I looked for a picture and I found his picture really quickly on the internet. It, I think his publicity photo is what I found. And he looks a lot like the American Santa Claus. <laughs> Cheerful guy with the white beard and the white hair and the red suspenders. He, he has happy eyes. And when I saw his picture, I knew I had to write a song for him. And this is, this is what I got. The last of the hobo kings. Steam train Maury died last night. His wife wandered by his side. He caught the westbound out of here. 
Up the high irons to the by and by. They say he jumped 10,000 trains, rode a million miles for free, helped out at VA hospitals and penitentiaries. Dandy Dave and Rusty Nails and Sweet Lady Sugar Cane. Dead Eye Kate and the Baloney Kid raise their cups tonight in steam trains and name. Senators and congressmen, puppets on a string, among windswept vagabonds, steam train was king in the last.
about a bunch of fellows that live under a bridge in Key West, Florida. The bridge is called the Cow Key Bridge. It connects Key West with Cow Key. Down in South Florida, they don't call them islands, they call them keys, and I have no idea why. But I used to go down there for Christmas because it's warm. Key West is a tropical city, and it's very, very nice in December. I wrote this on Christmas Day. I was walking across this bridge called the Cow Key Bridge, and I saw a Christmas tree tied to the bridge rail. It was an aluminum tree. It was tied with a piece of rope, and it looked weird on that bridge rail. It didn't make any sense at all. It looked all alone tied up there, and I could hear the sound of Christmas music coming from under the bridge, so I looked, and what I saw was a bunch of guys with a battery-powered radio washing golf balls. <laughs> and I went back to the houseboat, and I wrote this song. Davy stole the Christmas tree from Kmart last night. Red ribbons and silver bells, angels dressed in white. He tied it to the bridge rail so bass and cars could see. He did a little dance up there, looked down and smiled at me. Keep it soft. I sleep in the open air under the Southern Cross. Next to the golf course by the Hyatt Hotel. Dave is a friend of mine and we get along pretty well. It's Christmas in paradise.
get by, but we'll be eating good tonight. Christmas dinner is at five o'clock at the Church of Light. And they don't care who you are, they don't ask what you've done. Come on now, bring your friends, they've got plenty for everyone. It's Christmas in paradise Under the Calcary Bridge Where the warm breeze blows so nice And the landlord forgives plays Christmas songs as we get high David shouts Merry Christmas y'all at cars passing by David shouts Merry Christmas, y'all, at the cars passing by. Well, I'm on a world tour right now. I'm traveling and traveling and traveling. I've been on the road since early April put out a record called Trouble and Love. And here's the title track from that record. It's, it's the story of some of the troubles that love can bring.
friend of mine uh, named Darden Smith who lives in Austin, Texas and he started this organization it's called Songwriting with Soldiers and what we do is we take soldiers that are coming back American soldiers coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan uh, these, these soldiers they're very very young and they've seen uh, a lot of really horrible things uh, and uh, what we do is we we, we write songs with them, and they're not songwriters, but they have stories, and they have so much emotion. And so what, what else do you need for a song? Story and emotion. So we just get them to talk, and we turn their stories into songs, and we find that it really is helpful for them to hear their story as a song. So... saying today that music is bigger than music and uh, this is I think what's happening with the songwriting with soldiers project um, so uh, it's funded by private donors and corporate sponsors uh, it's free to the young soldiers it's free to the veterans so we bring them to a retreat center uh, they have their own rooms they have good food there's four songwriters and we just close the doors and there's 15 soldiers and four songwriters for two days and we write and uh, the songs that are coming out of this project are incredible. Um, a, lot of the, uh, a lot of the songs, I think, are some of the, the most amazing songs I've ever heard. If you want to hear some of it, just go to songwritingwithsoldiers.com. There's a lot of songs on that website, and uh, you can listen. Here's one that I wrote with a woman who served uh, for um, three tours of duty in Iraq. Her name is uh, Jennifer Marino. It's a good name for a Marine, right? Uh, she became a helicopter pilot and, uh, believe it or not, was the co-pilot of the first all-female Helicopter One crew. Uh, all women uh, on the crew flew President Barack Obama for the first time, all-female crew. Uh, and she runs this retreat center now. And this is a song I wrote with her. Uh, and it describes the story of a lot of the veterans that are really struggling. They, they, they come home, but they don't feel at home. There's parts of them that, that are not able to come all the way home. And so this is called Halfway Home. And uh, I think songs heal trauma. And I hope this, this uh, gives you some idea of what we're doing with the kids that... Uh, that, that uh, uh, 
helps them to speak of the things that they've seen and done. And it's so hard for a soldier to talk. I mean, part of being a soldier is you don't speak of what happened. So getting them to talk is a big deal. This is called Halfway Home. Well, there's pieces of me here in bed with my wife. Pieces of me in the sandbox tonight. I can't pull them together. And I'm tired of halfway home. I got one foot in two worlds. Neither one fits. I shouldn't be here. I'm torn and I'm split. I left friends over there and I'm tired of halfway home. Oh, but I won't let it win. No, oh, I won't let it win. I won't let it win. No, oh, the darkness won't win. I won't let it win. There must be a way to come home. Every Sunday 
my grandkids they used to come to now they drop me off at the front gate I guess they've got better things to do number 47 she's a good one Number 63 sings like a bird. Number 29, that's the one they call the Rockies. That's the saddest train I've ever heard. Hey, son, I'm a decorated veteran. I fought in what they call the Great War. I used to believe in everything it stood for. I don't believe in much anymore. Number 47, she's a good one. a bird number 29 that's the one they call the Rockies that's the saddest train I've ever heard
wonderful honor of being invited to play at the Grand Old Opry four times <laughs> with a lot of the old country music stars that I love so much I, I really really do love the old stuff and uh, I got to be on there with uh, oh I don't know let's see Roy Clark and Crystal Gale and Mel Tillis and little Jimmy Dickens and that's just the beginning. There's four times around I got to see uh, these people and uh, George Hamilton, uh, the s fifth, sixth, I don't know, fourth. George Hamilton, he has a number behind his name, but uh, he just passed away, but he was very, very sweet to me. And uh, who knows the number behind his name? Six, something, fourth. I don't know, he's got George Hamilton, his number, and then his son, then his grandson, then his great-grandson. So there's a lot of Roman numerals in that family. But uh, anyway, playing at the Grand Old Opry is a real uh, big deal for me. And uh, I am thrilled to play tonight the song that I played at the Opry. This is called Another Train. And please, one more time for Michele Gazzicci. Thank you. 
right in between Towns Van Zandt and Lucinda Williams, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's called Mercy Now. And um, 
I'm really honored that Rolling Stone magazine thinks it's one of the saddest country songs of all time. I don't think it's sad, and I really don't think it's country, but that's okay. <laughs> I am very happy to be in Rolling Stone magazine, so uh, if they want it to be a sad country song, then it's a sad country song. <laughs> that's fine with me. So uh, thank you all again for coming out tonight. We appreciate it. We 
dangle between hell and hallowed ground. see a Sam Baker show. I, I really, really like him and uh, his songs are very, very good. So we're going to leave you with this, this song. It's very beautiful, very simple. And um, we'll go to the table and I'm happy to sign CDs. Michele will, he has CDs too. He, in fact, Michele just got nominated in the finals for the Italian equivalent of the Grammys for his CD. So... So, very high honor. Because these days everybody has a damn CD. <laughs> right? Everybody who ever sang a song has made a record. It's unbelievable out there. So, uh, how do you find the good ones? It's very, very hard right now. We used to... Uh, we used to get mad at the record companies because it was impossible to get a record deal and only a few people really had a chance to, to have their songs brought to the public. Now everybody on earth has a record and uh, it's <laughs> impossible for the public to figure out what's good. So uh, in this environment, uh, my friend Michele has received a, a really big nomination and that is no small feat. So congratulations. <laughs> Go in faith. Mm -hmm. 
leave the day Day beyond us, day is dark Cold and gray Let us go into the dark Let us hope by some good measure safely to arrive at home. Let us hope by some good measure safely to. Thank you.